Hi, first grade. It's Mrs. Walker again, and this is your math lesson for Thursday, May 14th. Today, you are going to show what you know from Unit 9. It's going to be a little bit different than how we usually do our math tests, but I don't want you to worry. I want you to do your best. Are you ready to get started? Let's go. You will need a piece of paper and a pencil or something to write with. For number one, you are going to measure each item listed. Please use a small paper clip, but if you don't have a small paper clip, you can use something at home like a Lego or a penny or a dime. Pause the video and try these on your own. Remember, write your answers on the piece of paper. Okay, let's check your answers. If you used a small paper clip, the crayon should have been about three paper clips. The paintbrush should have been about five, and the pencil should have been about four. But your answers may be different if you measured with something different at home. Okay, let's try number two. Look at the shape and name one defining attribute and then name one non-defining attribute. Pause the video to try this on your own and remember to write your answers on your piece of paper. Okay, time to check your answers. You could have more than one answer for each question. For the defining attribute, you could have said it has two flat faces, or it has circles for faces, or it has one curved surface. For the non-defining attributes, you could have said it has stripes on it, or it is sitting on a flat face. Okay, you're doing great. Let's move on to number three. Use the two cards. One has a five, the other a six. Put those cards together to make the largest number you can make. What does the six stand for? Or how much is the six worth? Now, use those same two cards and what is the smallest number you can make? In your smallest number, what does the six stand for? Or how much is the six worth? Remember, you can pause the video to try this on your own and write your answers on your paper. Okay, let's check your answers. When you put the two cards together, the largest number you can make is 65. In that number, the six stands for six tens or 60. The smallest number you can make with those two cards would be 56. And in that number, the six stands for six ones or six. Okay, for number four, you're going to use tens and ones to show a number. In the first one, you're going to use straight lines and squares or dots to show your tens and ones. So use tens and ones to show the number 70. In the next one, you're going to use dimes and pennies. For your dimes, you can draw a circle and put the letter D inside. That will stand for your dime or tens. For the penny, you can draw a circle and put the letter P inside. Those will be your ones. Now, use dimes and pennies to show 70 cents. Then, tell how your pictures are alike and different. Pause the video to try this on your own, write your answers on your paper, and then we'll check to see how you did. Let's see how you did. For the first one, 
you could have drawn seven straight lines or seven tens. That equals 70. In the next one, you could have drawn seven dimes. Each dime is worth 10 cents. So if you have seven dimes, that would be 70 cents. The way they are alike is that they both show 70, but one uses longs and the other uses dimes. Remember, longs are the same as tens. Those are those straight lines. Use the pictures and the prices for number five. And Kita bought stickers and scissors. Her items are in the blue boxes. Nisha bought a pack of colored paper and a pen. Her items are in the pink boxes. You have to decide who spent more money, Ankita or Nisha. Then write a number model to compare how much money Ankita and Nisha spent. Use the symbols to compare your numbers. Pause the video and try this on your own. Write your answers on your paper. Let's check your answers. For the first part, who spent more money, you should have said Nisha. When you add her items together, you get 69 cents. When you add Ankita's items, you only get 54 cents. So Nisha spent more money. For the bottom part, when you compare the prices, you could have had a couple different answers. You could have wrote 69 is greater than 54, or you could have used number models and wrote 24 plus 30 is less than 38 plus 31. Yay! You've made it to the last question for today, number six. We're going to use those pictures and prices again, but we're only going to look at the pictures that have the aqua colored boxes around them. So Peter has 75 cents. Does he have enough money to buy the scissors and a ball? Explain your answer and use the symbols. Remember, pause the video to try this on your own, write your answers on your paper, and then we'll check to see how you did. All right, let's see how you did. Does Peter have enough money to buy the scissors and the ball? No, the ball and the scissors cost 80 cents when you add them together. He does not have enough money. When you compare those numbers, you write 75 is less than 80. Great job today, first grade. I'm so proud of you. Now tomorrow, you will do part two of your Unit 9 math test. Good luck!